We speak for the trees of this province. While log exports have soared, the forests have been disenfranchised by gross capitalism. We plan to stop log exports to protect the ancient forests of this province. We will crack down on oil companies by shutting down pipelines to preserve our environment. We plan to slash carbon emissions by investing in renewable resource technology. Because after all, the environment's so important. It's all around us. The basics of our economic policy is to test the greedy, but not the needy. Reducing the gap between the rich and the poor and implementing 100% capital gain fast. Also, we will nationalize our natural resources so it will benefit our people in BC. Human rights in BC have deteriorated to such an extent that they could be called human wrongs. We should recognize the rights of the indigenous people who have been brutally exploited by big business and a psychophantic government which bows down to the will of these big businesses. We would increase the rate of minimum wage to $18 per hour and we support the right of workers unions to bargain with monolithic businesses. BC prides itself on its education system, but there are capitalist weeds that threaten to stifle the growth of our garden of learning. The private schools have re received lots of privileges, which have resulted in cronyism and corruption. This must stop now. We need to re secularize our education system. You know, religion is controlling our children's minds. We need to shut down all the schools, including, but not limited to, the Christian Heritage School, which are asecular and teach our children all sorts of nonsensical fairy tales. We need to improve our students' consciousness by decreasing our class sizes and tripling the budget of subjects such as social studies, especially if the teacher's names begin with J or Y. Revolution is coming this May. Viva la revolucion! Workers of the world unite! Let's check it out, leave it. Oh, it's tripping. Uh, 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 uh.